Hello and welcome to the Socrato TV. At the Socrato TV, we analyze politics, and our aim uh, is to educate people on matters of politics and good governance so that they can be able uh, to make informed choices which will improve uh, the general well being of our republic. Today morning, uh, Raila Amolo Dinka on his first. Uh, Facebook page posted uh, this our paths crossed again last night with my friend Chris Kuhn heading home to the United States while I left for the United Kingdom wished each other safe flights hoping to see each other again always a pleasure Chris uh, this was Raila Amolo Dinga uh, posting that uh, he had just met uh, the De La Mer, uh, United States Senator, who uh, has been very instrumental uh, in mediating, uh, even, he even mediated Raila Molodinga with the former president, that is, uh, that is uh, uh, Uhuru Migei Kenyatta, in what is now known as Handshake. Chris Coons yesterday uh, also met uh, Dr. William Samoy Ruto on what, what appeared to be a, a diplomatic meeting, maybe uh, to try uh, to bolster or enhance the relationship between the United States and the Republic of Kenya. But this meeting, although Raila Molodinga is calling it as uh, they just bumped into each other. It is not uh, by coincidence. Raila Amolo Dinga and uh, the, the current president of the Republic of Kenya are currently in, the, in talks whereby uh, after the mandamano that Raila Amolo Dinga had called, the two leaders agreed that uh, there should be talks where this Azimio side is being led by Kalonzo Msioka uh, while the Kenya Kwanza side is being led by Kimani Ichungwa. Now, why do I believe uh, that uh, the deputy president, Rigadi uh, Gashagwa, is being duped? The first reason is that uh, when first uh, Raila Amolo Dinga met with Chris Kuhn, remember this is not the first meeting. This is the first meeting which they met. Uh, that is before um, he had met uh, even with the uh, President. Uh, he, Raila Molo Dinga posted it. Now, yesterday, uh, when we were having the last uh, devolution day, that is the celebrating 10 years of devolution, so the day was ending, uh, the ceremony was ending yesterday. The keynote speaker in that ceremony was Rigadi Gashagwa. So, while Rigadi Gashagwa uh, is addressing people in a laureate and is enjoying being welcomed well and uh, doing uh, the activities that they were doing there. William, Dr. William Samoy Ruto is meeting uh, with the U.S. envoy. Dr. William Samoy Ruto is meeting with the U.S. envoy on what uh, different people have interpreted uh, that it could be linked. Uh, to the talks which are ongoing, uh, the talks between uh, Raila Molodinga and uh, the president, that is Dr. William Samoy Ruto. Some people also interpreted this as uh, a way uh, to bring into order uh, the attack that Raila Molodinga uh, had done to the U.S. ambassador. Where he told her to stop interfering with the election of Kenya. So, so people interpreted that, but now uh, we have now been put into perspective uh, that this is likely to be more of a talk between Raila Molo Dinga and William Ruto. Whereby now Chris Kuhn, who yesterday met with Dr. William Samuel Ruto, today is meeting with Raila. So, this is just not a meeting whereby the two uh, people meet, greet each other, and wish each other the journey to Kent. Yes, there is something uh, 
that they have discussed and there is some information that will have been relayed uh, from uh, the last meeting or the, the meeting they had with the president, that is Dr. William Osumoye Ruto, and uh, bring the information or the feedback to Raila Amolodinga. It is also possible uh, that the talks, the, the issue of uh, attacking the U.S. ambassador by Raila Amolodinga may have been raised uh, in this talk. But uh, the main agenda here is that the U.S. Uh, senator is meeting Raila Amolodinga and is also meeting uh, with Dr. William uh, Samuel Ruto. But they are not at any point meeting with uh, Dr. Uh, Deputy President, that is Rigadi Gashagwa. Someone could also argue that uh, Martha Karua, who, is, who was the running mate of Raila Amato Odinga, has also not been met. But this is a different case. Remember, uh, Rigadi Gashagwa is in power. That is, they are already in government. So it becomes more of a threat to him than it could be uh, to a people who are in, in opposition or people who are not in power. So I would like just to, to emphasize or to send this message uh, to regard the Gashagwa and, and let him know that uh, there is something that is cooking and it is not uh, uh, something that is great, especially uh, to his or her interest. Remember, it will be in the best interest of Rigadi Gashagwa for Raila Amolodinga and William Samuel to remain uh, antagonistic, that is, uh, not, work, not agreeing in any other thing, so that he can continue having an agenda or something that he will be talking about. So it is something uh, which should worry Rigadi Gashagwa and people uh, aligned to him. So that is the, uh, what I wanted to bring into your attention that there's something that is going on and let us keep uh, watching until we meet again. Uh, bye bye.